the Beautiful Things channel. You find me sitting on the sofa in my coat, ready to go. <laughs> it is the first day of the Stitch Festival, or what was the Knitting and Stitching Show, or the Spring Knitting and Stitching Show. It's been rebranded this year, um, and it's moved to the Islington Design Centre, which is very exciting and much easier to get to. Now, the reason I'm sitting on my sofa on my coat is because I have just got in from doing the school run. I have come in, I have ordered an Uber on my phone to get me to the station and I actually he's not going to arrive for about eight minutes so I thought right I'll quickly make myself a coffee um, and sit here and start my video I meant to do it last night I didn't get around to it one thing led to another anyway I am going to the stitch festival I am looking furiously for my list here we go I have my list in hand um, of things that I need to buy and things that I'm allowed to buy because I am technically on a fabric ban. We'll see how easy that is to stick to. Um, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to going. Um, I'm going completely on my own this year. And as with tradition, you probably can't see outside. You might have to see the windows are a bit bright because it's very bright outside. Um, but it's actually snowing. <laughs> Traditionally, it snows every time I go to the Stitch Festival, and if it doesn't snow, it pees it down with rain. Um, and today is no exception, is actually peeing it down with rain with flakes of snow. So it won't settle. Um, it's just going to be gross and disgusting and cold and wet and miserable. But hey ho, if I get a cab to the station, I can get the train to Liverpool Street and then the tube to Islington. Um, and then I believe it's just ever such a short walk from Islington Tube Station but we will see so as with regards to what I'm allowed to buy myself today let me go through my list with you so I'm allowed to buy some chain which will be a strap for my necessary clutch wallet if I see it I'm allowed to buy the fabric for my swimsuit class with Charlotte um, if I see any fun stretch denim I'm allowed to buy it because I'm allowed to make myself another pair of jeans um, I've got dress fabric for the Vogue dress that I want to make. It's a sew along that Sean's doing at Kittenish Behaviour. So I need five and a half metres for that. But I'm only going to let myself buy something if I see it on Rosenberg or Fabric Land. Um, and it's sort of six or seven pounds a metre max. Um, I need some fold over elastic for Elspeth. I'm going to pick up the new Tilly book, um, a couple of prim pens, the really fine chalk pens, one for me and one for Elspeth, and if I see any fun, nice, soft, wide elastic, I'm allowed to buy that for Mr. Max boxer shorts, which he is actually wearing and finding really comfortable, and it's really nice that actually I can make something for him and he's enjoying it. So that's all I'm allowed to buy. Um, I will report back with a haul video. <laughs> of what I actually buy but I am going to take you with me I am going to put the camera on I'm going to take some video footage I don't know how much I'm going to get because the stalls are normally pretty much all the same but I do want to catch up with some people while I'm there I'm going to go and see the lovely Charlotte because she's working on the baby lock stand today um, I've got a little present for her and I'm also going to try and catch up with the girls from Happy Fabric uh, because now that I have my Cricut maker um, I would like to have a go and have a try at some of their vinyl and that looks like my uber pulling up right out the front i will see you when we get there <laughs> and we are in so i'm gonna head to baby lock because that's where charlotte is and the flag is right in front of me so i'm just gonna do it get it over and done with because i can see where she is where is she? Where is she? There she is! <laughs> Say hello Charlotte! Hello Charlotte! <laughs> first things first, I'm going to get to Rosenberg before it gets too busy because I'm desperate for five and a half metres of something to make a Vogue dress with and I can already see lots of gorgeous ones. If you are in the market for a coat, he has got some beautiful coating fabric. And then look at that! Lots of pretties, but all of the viscose jersey that I liked was £35 a metre. And I just can't justify that for a dress that I don't know is going to fit and or work. This is going to be a wearable twirl, so we'll see what else we can see. 
I've discovered this little gadget on the Fiskars stand. It's really cool. So it's a little cutter and it cuts circles and it's got, did you say it's got the seam allowance built in it? Yeah, a quarter of an inch Really clever. In. It's got a quarter of an inch seam allowance built in. So you place it on the fold of your fabric and then use this little dongle and it chops out perfect circles. And quilting I think, shapes. And quilting well. shapes. It's a great idea. And you can make, look at these amazing things you can make with it. All these cool bags. These are all using circles and these are great for covering up your um, bowls. All with the circle template. I like that a lot. Just found it here, look, the perfect circles made simple and it's in the sale today for £29.95. I don't think that's bad actually. Personally I can cut circles on my Cricut now but if you haven't got one then I think that's a really good tool to have in your stash. Now I'm at the Bombay stores um, aisle. They've got all these gorgeous cotton canvases, two whole meters for 10 pounds. So if you want to make a messenger bag um, or something that needs to be a bit sturdier, these are absolutely perfect for that. And there's some really lovely designs as well. This fabric is amazing. It's like suede, but it's stretchy. It's just fantastic and it comes in all these different colours and patterns. That's um, Montreux Fabrics. So apparently, I've just asked, it is a suede scuba and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I've discovered the Express Craft Stand and look at that, look at that HTV. But I'm just going to go like this because those of you that know me will know I'm a happy girl leopard print HTV and look what you can do with it there it is personally though I'm gonna go for mother so they've got some really good prices on their vinyl and lots of really cool colors and it all works with your Cricut so where can they find you on in, on Tinterwebs just Express Craft Oh look, there we are. <laughs> there you go, that's where you can find them if you want to purchase online. But they also do lots of sublimation stuff as well by the looks of it and I'm going to have a little look see and see how that all works. So we've just printed out a sheet of blue leopard print and we're going to now heat transfer that onto this little purse. Go for it. So tape it down and in it goes. So could you do this on a Cricut heat press or do you need a, a fancy pants heat press? Any heat press. As, Any long heat as, press. as long as it can get up to 200 degrees. Yeah, we can do. That's it. Perfect. Off it goes. It takes about one minute. Da, 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 da. There we go. Whee. This is magic. Oh my gosh, look at that. There you go. That's amazing. That looks just like printed fabric. That is so cool. So you could do, I say I could do my own designs, yep. print them on a sublimation printer, onto paper, and then press them onto product. Yeah. Oh my God. So how much does one of those set you back though? About 400 pounds for the printer. 400 pounds. All the inks, paper, heat tape, Everything you need. Everything you need to get going. So that is a lot of money, but if you're gonna set up a business, you could earn that back quite quickly, yeah, couldn't you? you could probably get, um, so you've actually used the whole thing, but I think what you could do is put this into your Cricut or your silhouette, couldn't you? You could cut words or shapes yeah. and then put it onto the bag and then that way you'd have like text and logos exactly. and stuff. And you could use more of that then so you wouldn't be quite so wasteful. You could have printed the full size of the page, yeah. Fab, I love it. Mmm, £400 now then please, that's what we need so I can buy one of those babies. <laughs> So I found the textile centre and as always they have made beautiful garments purely by wrapping fabric around mannequins. It is always so inspirational and it's so nice to see the garments and how they drape. And there's some beautiful viscose jersey and some lovely crepe so I have a feeling I'm going to find my fabric at this stall. And no wonder I liked it, this is the fabric that Sean has actually made her dress in, her Vogue dress that I'm trying to do. Um, and it doesn't surprise me because I know she likes the textile garden. I like this one. It's next to Sean's one here, look. But it's five pounds a meter, which is fine, it's a good price, but I'm gonna have a little look around and then hopefully, if there's enough left, it was meant to be. So I've done a couple of rows. The only thing I will say is that what I do love about the spring show is the big space in the aisles. 
so that you're not fighting um, through people. I have lost track of the amount of times I've said sorry, um, trying to get past people. The aisles are quite narrow, so it's not going to be amazing if you need to come to this show um, and you need extra space. I just bit the bullet, although he didn't have very much of it left. I've got this gorgeous peach skin. It's yeah. so pretty. Hello. <laughs> it's so pretty um, and I absolutely love it. So that's going to be my maxi dress. So I found the girls from Happy Fabric. <laughs> Here they are, look. Yay. And I may have already made a cheeky purchase. <laughs> but yet more vinyl. And here is the infamous rainbow t-shirt, Tilly and the Buttons Nora, which you may have seen on their Instagram. And I need to get that signed, I'm going to have to get you in it either, <laughs> wave. There we go, look, let's make stuff. How cool is that? So do come and see the guys at Happy Fabric if you're coming to the show, although you'll see this on Monday so it'll be too late. But I'm assuming you're going to be at Ali Pali, are you? Probably? Yeah, so you can always go to the October show. They've got these amazing packs. Look at these. You can do. I made this for your t-shirts. So you get some fabric. All these amazing colours. Fabulous. Just bought my pencil, and I bought Elspeth the blue one. So I found Tilly in the buttons. Tilly's new book, Make It Simple and all of the garments are here for you to try which is nice yes. i'm gonna flick through ah uh, look so this is the t-shirt that i'm gonna make with my happy fabric that i've just bought but i'm gonna use neon on black jersey so i need to find some black jersey it's really nice super i've just bought my copy of the book military operation Tilly's not here today and I would really like it signed by her so she's going to sign it for me tomorrow and then Charlotte is going to pick it up for me and bring it to the studio next week military operation but I've got my new book so I think I'm done it is really really busy here today um, I've bought quite a few bits and pieces some things I needed some things I didn't um, said hello to various people seen Gabby which was nice from Gabadashery met the lovely Bee um, which was super duper and I'm just going to have one last little whiz round now before I head home. Um, I think it's about half past one, two o'clock, so I haven't been here very long. It is considerably smaller than the Olympia show, um, but I'm not sure whether there's any less stalls or whether it's just more compact. Um, but yeah, had a really nice day. Um, I will do my whole video separately and you'll probably see that next Monday. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.